Hey everybody, I'm back again. I just wanted to show you what I came into contact with the other. Man, I really do mean a makeup crew here everywhere. Hat straight today at least ish. Anyway, um, I went to a storage auction yard sale uh, last weekend on Saturday, and I spent a hundred dollars. Filled the back of my van up. Um, wasn't sure what I had. One thing I knew I had was a stand-up jewelry jewelry box. Um, it's upstairs. I'll show you a picture of that here. Um, didn't really look through it. I opened it, opened the top, and saw a couple things that, okay, that's got some potential. That might be gold. That might be silver. So I was like, okay, I'm putting this in my stack. Uh, got some other things. I'll show you everything I got, and then I'll go over the silver and gold that I did find. And then also we're going to go through a, um, it's a little cooler, but it has Nintendo Wii games, and I believe there's a Nintendo Wii in the bottom. I didn't look through it. I just peeked in the top. So we're going to go through that together here in a minute. But uh, I'm going to turn the camera around and show you what I got. All right, we'll just start over here. This, I was pretty sure, wasn't solid silver. It is silver plate. Um, I did look it up. It's from the Victorian era. It's from the late 1800s. I'm just going to clean it up, and we're planning to do a uh, kind of like English pub Harry Potter type thing in our attic when we finish it. So I think that's where this is going to go. Um, we'll just use this decoration, things like that. I mean, there's some cool stuff. It's not in great shape like this. I don't know if you can tell. This one's bent, and you know, it's not, not beautiful, but we'll clean it up a little bit and see what it looks like after that. Um... Little Jack Daniels flask, not worth a ton of money, but I'll sell it. Some skull rings. This one's a pirate. These are not precious metal. Sons of Anarchy necklace, but uh, I'll probably sell all three of those rings in a lot. Um, an actual real pearl, pearl necklace. So that'll go on eBay. Some old buttons. There's a U.S. military button. Um, there's some other ones here. This, These are somewhat valuable on eBay. I can probably maybe get $15, $20 out of all of them total. And then just some other kind of junk buttons. And these are not real. Those are just metal, steel. Let's start here. <clears throat> Here's the cooler I was talking about. We're going to go through that in a minute. We got this computer tower. Uh, no idea if it works. I'm going to plug it in. If it does work, I might use it down here to, to do my shipping and everything. If it doesn't, I'm going to go through it. See what's on there. You never know when you might find a, a Bitcoin treasure. Uh, who knows? But we're going to go through that. Um, this is a CB set. I've been wanting one of these. It looks like all of it's here. I haven't gone through the bag yet, but it does look like everything's here. But, uh, I've got a CB set. That's for personal use. A couple of stereo amps. Don't know if they work or not, but we'll try them out. Okay, this is what I thought was the good thing that I got, which it is. It's it's probably fifty, sixty dollars on eBay, plus shipping. KitchenAid mixer, red, and he's cleaned up. It's pretty dirty. Uh, this is stuff I already had. This not from the storage unit. Uh, one. It looks like a 10-inch speaker. It is good. It's not cracked or anything. That might be personal use. Who knows? I thought this was cool. It's one of those things you see around the neck of the St. Bernard that rescues you in the snow. I mean, it's, of course, it's a replica. It's not real. As far as I know, it's not real. Well, it might be. A nice leather strap on it. Uh, a couple video games. Fallout 4 and... Destiny 2 Forsaken. Uh, got some tools here. This is a harmonic damper pulley puller. It's a kit. I might put that on Marketplace, see what I can do out of that. That is a hole saw, or it's for your drill to do large holes, well, any kind of size hole, I guess. It's a kit for that. This is a vintage snap-on steering wheel puller and lock plate depressor set. I saw snap-on, so I grabbed it. Uh, looks like it's missing something right here. 
I'm not sure what that would be. But it's snap-on. That might go on eBay, depending on... Oh, I haven't done comps or anything yet, so... Here's another snap-on disc brake ball joint gauge. Clean this stuff up a little bit. See what I can get out of it. Another tool set. This is a deluxe hub car and wheel lock removal kit. I might need that. Nice set of sockets here. Craftsman sockets. The ratchet's gone, but the sockets are still there. All right. We got a bunch of car stereos. I mean, I know some of them are missing some buttons, but we try to get some of those to work. Okay, well, there's a wiring harness that's not attached to anything. Um, a couple of Sony's, those look like they're the same. Pioneer. That's something else. Pioneer. Pioneer. And I don't see anything on that one. Oh, Alpine. And then this one that's like been somebody used nail polish on it or something. I don't know. Uh, got a coach purse. Pretty sure it is legit. The, sorry. Let me get sick there. There's the label in it. It needs cleaned up, but it's in pretty good condition. It's an old aluminum lunchbox. I just thought that was cool. It's probably not real valuable, but it's just cool. Some vintage, I'm pretty sure these are 1970s, 1980s Chevrolet uh, 4x4 hubcaps. Because those go on the front where you lock in your hubs or where your four-wheel drive hubs stick out. But that's a whole set. Set of four. An old lock. Which is kind of cool. A bunch of knives. Um, I grabbed a box. These were all in one box. And I just grabbed the whole box. I didn't really look at it. And after looking at some of them, they're not in real great condition. This one's not bad, but it's China. It's not old or anything. I like this one. These have been well used. I mean, that one's even got a crack in it there. So those are probably not going to be worth a whole lot. They may just go to the flea market. Um, cigar box here that had some knives. These aren't bad. These pocket knives aren't too bad. Cell phone. I don't know if those are worth anything. I uh, got this DVD wall mount, brand new. We'll use it somewhere in our house that's for personal use. All right, we're going to go through the cooler. condition okay lots of wires and cords that one's pretty well shot looks like sensor doesn't have the stand but looks like it's okay we'll put the bad stuff over here very dirty very very dirty so probably not very well taken care of. Oh man, that's sticky. Wow, that's really sticky. <laughs> Hopefully it works. Okay, here is power source. I don't think that's for the Wii though. Looks like it's for something else. Sensor tangled and everything. 
That is nasty. Here's the power supply for the Wii. like Rusty Griswold trying to get this knot out. Frustrating. I think it's another... Yeah, that's another power supply for the Wii. I think there's two in here. All right. Zelda. It's in there. It's always a good thing. Oh, no, it's not in there. Need for speed carbon. All right. Set that aside. Maybe we'll find that. Wii music. All right, that one's in the right place. It's got some scratches, but... Be all right. Ultimate band. So it's in there. That one looks okay. All right. There's a Wii. It's the one that's got those 64 uh, inputs in it where you can use the Nintendo 64. So there's one of the Wii's, and looks like there's another one in here. And also, let's get this one's got a place for the memory cards. Oh, this one does too. Awesome. Just got to plug them in, see if they work. Pretty nasty remote there. It's not corroded in the battery compartment though, so that's good like I don't think those are for the Wii no, I think this is for a TV or something I don't know trash so what else is in here lunchbox notes Chick-fil-A Another power supply, and looks like another sensor. And more trash. All right. Well, went through that. Got two Wii's here. Let's plug these in and see if they work. All right. Got this one plugged in. Lights on. Like it does. I if there's a game in here. Nope. No game in this one. Alright, let's try the next one. Alright, red light is on. No games in either of them, but I'll have to test these further. Actually hook them to the TV and uh, make sure they work. But hey, there's a couple of Wii's in here. And some games, one case with the wrong game. And a few games with the right cases. All this stuff needs really cleaned up. It's filthy dirty. It's disgusting. That one thing was really sticky. But uh, we'll get it cleaned up and get it listed and sold. So let's go over and get started on the jewelry. Here is the gold and silver. The gold's in this box, the silver's in that box back there. And I've already separated them and weighed them and gotten an approximate uh, value. 
So we'll just look at the silver first. This thing is really nice. It's vintage sterling. It's vintage sterling silver. But all this stuff is marked. It's either marked 925 or sterling. Um, there's some really pretty pieces in here. This is vintage Native American. So that's turquoise and silver. Um, I believe this is also Native American and it is silver. It's just that I checked everything. I'm getting all tangled up now. And if it's not, if it looks gold, it's because it's gold plated silver. Another one of these. We're not this tangled up earlier. All right, I think we got it all sorted out now. Uh, this is a silver necklace. And this one is a gold-plated earring. Or ring, I'm sorry. Gold-plated silver ring. An old charm bracelet, and this is sterling. I looked, found the markings on it, and it is sterling. ring a set of dragonfly earrings another silver ring this is a silver brooch but yeah it's a little hard in the middle silver pineapple charm, some gold plated 925 earrings, a ring, and an earring. Plated 925 necklace charm. Silver cross. Another part of a silver necklace. Silver earring. Another 925 charm. charm and the smallest piece of sterling silver you'll probably ever see it's actually marked sterling on there almost forgot about this one too this is vintage it's marked sterling silver all right and gold i've already put these in baggies so i'll just hold them up tell you what they are and uh, tell you what they're worth. So we'll start with 10 carat. Uh, there's a couple rings in there and a necklace. And that value, I looked up how much 10 carat gold is by the ounce. And as of right now, that's the value. All right, well, let's do 12 carat next. 12 carat, there was only one chain. And that's what it's worth. And then 14. 14 carat, there was more of 14 than anything. There's a couple of necklaces in there, chains, charms. They're all marked. And that value is... The, the marked out number is because my scale was messed up for a second. So I spent $100 on this unit. And I say that I think I did pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. This gold and the silver will not be sold. It'll go to my security box. And uh, we're going to hold on to it. 
but uh, I think it was a really good investment. Really happy with how it turned out. Very, very happy. Um, how could you not be happy with over $1,000 in profit? So, and that's just with the gold and the silver, not everything else that is going to be sold. So, it was a good investment. I didn't have to clean out the whole unit. It was just picking it. Um, the unit owner, unit owner was there, and it was, I think there were four or five units that were, uh, you could pick through and do, it, like I said, it was a yard sale type thing. That's what he called it, was a storage unit yard sale. So very happy that I picked the unit I was in and found what I found and bought what I bought. Uh, very happy about it. Very, very happy. So until next time, God bless you. Uh, like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment, um, share with your friends, uh, just help us get some more subscribers. I think we're like 116 or something right now. 116. Um, hey, let's get to 1,000. Let's see if we can get to 1,000. Share with your friends. Tell them about it. I know I'm not the most exciting person on YouTube, but hey, I find some good stuff. But that's what I'm depending on is the stuff I find. Not, not me. Not my personality. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.